Hey guys, welcome to the latest video of Microsoft Online Learning. In this video, we will be covering about Java Invocation module. So, some of the time it happens like uh, we want to write a custom code um, out of the capability which is not available in the mules of connectors for now but uh, this is very rarest of the rare uh, chances but uh, in order to accommodate that particular uh, requirement uh, mules of has provided a java connector so there is a java module available in which there is a um, method to call the static and the non-static methods so we will be uh, deep diving onto these two use cases <clears throat> so i will right click and go for the new project as a new project i will name it as uh, invoke java so it doesn't matter if you are putting uh, capital i capital g because the project name automatically gets converted into lower cases i'll click on finish uh, it is using by default 430 that is the latest uh, mule runtime version i will quickly drag and drop the listener uh, let's configure this guy i will go with the default edge one okay and give the path as maybe java static so this will be the uh, triggering point for uh, a java static based uh, flow after that we will locate the java module i will drag and drop and within java you can see four different options available invoke invoke static new and validate type invoke static will be used for uh, as you as you can see in the hyperlink uh, operation that allows the user to invoke the static methods with the provided arguments the identifier of the method to be invoked includes the class and the method names being the method a full description of its signature including the types of each parameter for example if you want to invoke the static method echo with signature as public static string echo within the uh, argument as a string message then we have to use echo within bracket a string that's it so we will follow the same procedure and let's see how to configure it uh, drag and drop and uh, always better to have a logger right Uh, let me configure this thing so uh, go to the class we need to add a java class so i will change the name of package to com dot my company there's a standard way right uh, you can put any other uh, logical name but uh, uh, as the standard example uh, people used to refer this com dot my company or something like that so going with the same now here I am putting the name as a string manipulation. I wanted to generate the comments as well, <clears throat> so I will check mark this and click on finish. That's pretty much okay. And let's create a static method, public static return type as string. Name of the method could be greetings it should expect a string message let's say name and what it should return it should return a string message so i will type return hello and i will append the name that's pretty much simple straightforward okay let's keep it that way and save this thing let's refresh this so here you can see it is uh, typing the entire signature that is java lang dot string but i am more uh, want to be specific i will keep this strings uh reading within the argument as a string okay so the next thing is to uh, i need to pass the arguments i will click on uh, function and go for the method here you can see it is showing me the argument as well okay so what i will do i will start with the data view the output should be application slash java and after that 
I need to pass on the name which I will be taking from query parameters as name that's pretty much okay I will click on done and release okay and I am going to print the message as payload save it let's run this guy It will take a couple of seconds to load all the uh, reference libraries. So it is now deployed. I will clear the console. Go back to my Postman, and this is like one of the example. Java static is the uh, URL, and the name I have passed is Steve. So let's click on send button. So hello Steve. This is what we are expecting as well, right? So this is pretty much of it. Let's try to do one more manipulation. Let's put transfer message and import the same uh, java function so there is a particular format to that uh, just follow this thing okay now i will type uh, message and uh, string manipulation greetings and I will pass on Michael that's pretty much let's save it and let's put a logger once again so what I will do I will change the format as well I don't like Java so I like to have JSON and within the logger what I will do I will print something logical data view out invocation okay and this place then payload dot message as string control this let's try to run it I will stop the project run it once again it will take a couple of seconds to load so it is being deployed let's clear the console go back to postman hit the same message so uh, Steve it, it still will be logged up to this particular logger so hello Steve is coming up and after that this transform message is being called so output of this transform message is being uh, picked up in logger and data view invocation hello Michael because we have passed on this uh, particular message instead of this what you can do you can try to put uh, maybe let's dot query parents dot dot name let's see how it goes let's give it a try so this is done let's clear up the console go back to the postman hit the send button hello null okay reason being because uh, it is not able to pick up the uh, the uh, the query param name okay so what we can do there is one more, one more option to use it let's try to set it up i will put it somewhere okay i will put uh, name control s I will be using this one over here so instead of this let's put vars.name and let's see how it responds so it's up and running 
let's hit this again so this time it picked up the same name right so in this particular use case i have shown you like how to use the static method uh, within a mail flow and also how to invoke a uh, um, a java method through data view function okay so let's try to further complicate the things okay let's try to create a non static method so what i will do public string okay and it's even odd or integer num after that i will pass on the details like if the num is being divisible by 2 and the remainder is 0 then it will mean it's a even number correct and else it should return odd so let's hold the uh, this thought over here and go to the network java save the project let's try to drag and drop once again the listener okay so within listener i will this time i will give the path as java non static okay and within java i need to use this uh, new because it is going to create a instance which can be used in invoke non static method and after that what i will do as usual i am going to log it so for that let's push it in here and i will delete this guy okay so let's quickly configure this this particular instance i will click on binoculars and i will try to look it with the string manipulation okay here it goes i will wait for this tooling to work all good within advance what i will do i will put this instance as uh, num no harm in that right let's configure the invoke again uh, i will locate this one string manipulation that's okay let's wait for the method to pop up if it doesn't of course you can also do the thing right so let's clear it up up to here and num as well after that it looks for this so where's dot num that should be okay and here we are going to map it so percentage dw two dot of after that output application slash json no harm in that okay then we need to pass on the num so from where we are going to pick it it will be from attributes dot query prime dot num and uh, that's pretty much okay click on done save this guy and print the payload dot so payload do a control s right click stop the project want to run it again let's see if it get built properly I believe it should be okay. So it has been deployed. I will clear up the console. I will go to the postman again. And this time, so non static number, I will try to put, uh, let's say put one. Click on send button. Odd. Let's put two. That is a even number. Even number. Okay. So that's pretty much uh, of this particular uh, uh, 
java invocation use case i hope you like this particular video and in this video we talked about how to call static and non static functions in java and how even to use the data view function in order to call a uh, static java method thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next set of upcoming videos thank you